Hello and good morning. This is Cash from datatechnologyllc.com. Today, basically, uh, I'm putting together a video series titled How to Make Money and Get Paid Online. Uh, nowadays, in this uh, lousy economy, it's uh, people are trying to find different ways to make money, uh, essentially to make ends meet. So I figured, uh, you know, put something together. Uh, now, typically, I do have a script or uh, you know essentially topics that I want to talk about uh, in this case I actually am putting this together at the spur of the moment so uh, at times uh, you know I may not be as uh, fluid in my um, I guess training or whatnot so please uh, bear with us but uh, let's go ahead and get started essentially I put uh, two things in here saying that okay you want to make money um, you know how do you want to do it I guess so there's you know I put some question marks here and uh, some of you may be thinking well I want to make it the easy way okay or you know maybe just really by doing nothing just you know free method um, I think the important point here is to actually do it the right way okay uh, if you want to make money um, you know there's several different methods you can uh, take but I'm going to show you a method that's gonna be uh, pretty uh, pretty profitable over time um, and so for this thing we are going to be using one of Google's tools and in case you're wondering this is AdSense um, real quickly a little bit about AdSense uh, as you know Google makes uh, majority of their money 90% or more from uh, the AdWords these are the ads that uh, are displayed so let me uh, quickly show you if you go to Google and let's say you're looking for online training and then uh, you know you see these ads in this section up here or on this section here these are essentially advertisers listing their ads and now when I click on it uh, you know Google gets paid okay um, but what we're trying to do is um, similar in concept we are going to go ahead and create a website first okay and then uh, put some content on there put some Google ads on there and then when people click on these ads essentially Google gets paid and then you as the website owner gets paid so that's a little bit background about uh, what method are we going to take um, and there's definitely a few points that I want to cover so today uh, the first important point to remember when trying to make money online is to find a profitable niche okay it has to be something uh, you know that's maybe unique to your situation um, let's say you are a florist or something and you know a lot about flowers uh, you know that's the area that maybe you should focus on or maybe you are a plumber uh, you know I know a lot about uh, hands-on plumbing type work um, find an area that you know you think you have some uh, you know useful information to contribute and if you don't know anything uh, about any th any topic then maybe find somebody you know that you can work with or you can even maybe hire uh, to help you with this okay now in our case for this uh, series we are really going to be uh, talking about car insurance and I will uh, um, give you a little bit information on why I came up with this um, a little uh, background I actually work uh, a little bit with search engine optimization we help uh, small businesses rank high on on you know Google Yahoo Bing those type of things and I was taking a seminar and they were talking about uh, Google uh, keyword tool which is a tool that helps you um, you know find related terms to an expression that you're trying to optimize for and I noticed that uh, you know this term car insurance or auto insurance was ranked very high not only for volume but uh, for CPC which is uh, the cost per click okay and that's the amount that the advertisers are willing to bid you know per click on one ad and it does make sense there's a lot of car insurance companies out there so they're all trying to uh, compete for your attention so you know as there's more and more advertisers uh, the cost to do business is gonna go up too so let me uh, let me show you uh, a little bit about uh, you know if you don't have any clue on what to do you know in a certain 
niche or segment um, a great tool to utilize this is actually Google um, AdWords and the way you get to that is uh, you go google.com slash AdWords okay um, and when you go in here um, if you do not have an account uh, you will have to create an account uh, it is uh, free to sign up so I'm actually going to go ahead and sign into my account uh, once you come into Google AdWords, um, this is really where advertisers will set up their campaigns and you know advertisements and whatnot. Um, we are not going to cover that here. We are in fact going to switch over to reporting and tools. Click on this drop down and go to uh, this tool called Keyword Tool. Okay, great tool. Uh, there are some other tools out there too. Uh, in fact, I think I have this tab open here uh, from Word Tracker. WordTracker.com is uh, a great tool. Another one is, um, let me just uh, do some of these things. It's called SEObook.com. That's also very, uh, you know, very handy that you can get some ideas on uh, essentially keywords. Remember, keywords are the expressions that people are typing when searching for a certain item so like I showed you you know somebody may be looking for car insurance when they type that on Google uh, you know they will get the related websites okay so anyway back to this keyword tool I'm going to go ahead and type in um, car insurance so any any ideas you may have you could come in here and type that in um, and what we're trying to do is to find out uh, a uh, how many people are searching for this particular term and more importantly what's the CPC which is by the way down here if I click on here it actually tells you this is the approximate cost per click that you might pay if you were to bid on this keyword okay and you can uh, google this you can go on YouTube and there's lots of videos on CPC and whatnot so uh, so I put these two terms in I'm going to go ahead and check this one only show ideas closely related to my search terms and let's go ahead and hit search Now here uh, you'll notice there is a lot of information. We have a list of keywords going down here. We have a competition which is also very important. This means that there are other uh, advertisers or other websites trying to compete for this term. Uh, here's the global monthly searches, local monthly searches. This is uh, sort of like a trend graph. It tells you if you know there's more interest, like looks like there's more interest in this one here on this term direct auto insurance and here's here's the bottom line okay this is where you're gonna make money this is the approximate CPC and uh, look at this look at this first term okay if you're optimizing for car insurance and you got a good site not only are you getting high traffic but people are willing to bid thirty seven dollars a click okay that is a lot of money uh, you know per click um, we own some other websites like IT training and whatnot and typically um, you know our CPC for those things is like three four dollars an hour so I mean this you know when I saw this my jaw just about dropped okay and now here a couple of cool things you can do you can uh, sort by any of these columns okay so if I clicked on global monthly searches uh, you know here's here's what people are searching for okay so car insurance auto insurance obviously like I said you know cheapest car insurance people are trying to make money um, and you know so on and so forth okay nice thing about this thing is that uh, you know you're getting a lot of keywords I mean it looks like about almost you know 800 keywords if you don't want to sit here and click up and down you can definitely down download this to something like an Excel sheet okay uh, so keep that in mind um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click on approximate CPC okay I am really uh, interested in making money as my name is cash like I mentioned so notice that you know for this term cheap import car insurance eighty seven dollars a click that is just outrageous okay uh, now that is great but you know another thing you need to keep in mind is that there's only four hundred and eighty searches being done on a month okay so since my math 
is not so good. I'm going to take 480 divided that by 30. So you know that's only 16 uh, searches a day. Not a whole lot. Um, you know to uh, to basically justify creating a website and whatnot. So uh, so keep that also in mind. But you know let's move down a little bit. Well, you know you got get down here to this term online quotes for car insurance that's not bad you know 33,000 a month that's a uh, thousand a day okay and look at that 52 clicks a day so uh, definitely use this keyword tool to come up with ideas um, you know like I said maybe you know you are a florist okay um, you know you could do that actually they're not uh, well let's just search this one first and see what we get and then once again I'm going to go ahead and rank on uh, you know on, on the searches so look at that florist 1-800 florist wholesalers whatnot um, not bad cost per click like I said this is only three dollars you know a click so you really want to focus on something that's being searched a lot and also is paying a lot per click um, let me search for plumber No, this is not bad. Okay, we're getting a million searches a month, and you know it's paying uh, double digits, ten, ten dollars a click, whatnot. Los Angeles, apparently, there's a lot of plumbing issues there. Uh, you know, fourteen dollars a click. Okay, so th I think that's all I kind of wanted to mention about uh, finding a you know area that's gonna work for you. Okay, and so for for this, you can use Google.com/slash AdWords okay and like I said you go in there and then you're going to look for the keyword tool so that's my first point the second one is to uh, you know register once you have some idea you need to uh, register the domain okay and there's really two parts for this okay um, one is to you know come up with a cool domain first and then obviously you know you have to um, you have to register it so let me take a look at these two things and I think maybe for for today's uh, topics um, for the video I think I, I'm going to basically cover these points and then uh, call it a day and then we'll come back and uh, you know resume this in a, in a different session so anyway how do you really come up with the cool Thank you for watching the sample video.